Also, der mag das. Der, der mag das eigentlich. Die haben mir im Club gesagt, ich soll das so machen. Das ist gut für die. Also, er genießt das. Er, er mag eigentlich in Zirkel laufen, mag er immer. Also, jetzt müssen wir uns entscheiden, welchen von Gebissen wir verwenden werden. Das muss natürlich auch in den Maul reinpassen und die Tiere müssen zufrieden daran kauen. Das mögen die. Ähm, also so haben die mir im Club gesagt. Und ähm, also ich werde jetzt versuchen, ähm, wie der jetzt darauf reagiert. Ähm, das ist für die ganz normal und das mögen die. Also so haben die mir gesagt. Also ich habe es jetzt probiert. Und das hat ja ganz gut geklappt. Wie man sieht, der kaut auch. Ähm, der mag das. Also der kaut ganz entspannt. Ja, der mag das. Also da bin ich also ganz zufrieden. So haben die mir gesagt. Sie haben sich vielleicht amüsiert. You were eventually amused. Well, it could be funny indeed if this would not be bitter reality for the majority of horses in our world. When one would never do this to one cat, dog, one goat, why then to the horse? Only because they have one larger body? Does it mean they can take more pain? that they have no soul, or that one can put them behind bars and ignore all their essential needs. Our world is stricken with pain of horses. Barely one other animal is so mishandled and so abused, day by day forced by worst pain to serve desires of human. Mit schlimmsten Schmerzen Tag für Tag gezwungen, die Gelüste der Menschen zu befriedigen. We all know such examples. Pictures showing suffering of horses are omnipresent in our society. It is not forbidden to torture this animal. This is done at all competitions and other equestrian sport events. Suffering of horses is amusement for many people and with suffering of horses people earn big money. Even so-called experts or qualified and educated people, like for example veterinarians, do not recognize pain and suffering these animals go through every day. Many of them are afraid to lose customers. Many of them give up simply and do not have strength to tilt at windmills against such one giant industry and the ignorance of the rider. There are even such a veterinarians existing who want to study or investigate biomechanical connections in the horse's body on the horses which are shod and have bits in their mouth. Even children are pulled into this milieu 
where no compassion with other creatures exists, where only winning counts and prize cups won with the blood and suffering of horses. These children are emotionally crippled. They don't feel pain of the animals. They grow up in the society without compassion. And the horses try to struggle against abuse. They clearly show their pain and that they are not able to do what cruel human ask them to do. The bravest of them try to show they do not want to be slaves. They try to communicate with human. But human, human doesn't understand cry for help. Human takes bit or whip or spores or martingale. Human has invented many instruments to cause pain to the horse. Human controls the horse with the pain. I can show you hundreds, thousands of such photos, but are you able to feel the pain of these horses? Are you able to feel how horrible it must be to live as slave, forced with pain to serve your master? and to be kept sick without any chance to ever escape from this hell. Fortunately, not all humans are like that. There are also others who want to have a friendship with a horse. They take themselves back, do not demand anything from the horse, but give the horse space to express his free will. And I dare to say, they are people who discover that the true happiness of the earth is not on the back of the horse. Let us put the books away in which we read about behavior of domestic horses. If we really want to get to know horses, their nature, their behavior, their life, then we go to the herd in its natural environment. We take a seat at the meadow, we take time and we watch, we listen, we smell and we feel. We try to enter their world, this beautiful world try to feel peace, to feel harmony in the herd which is allowed to live according to their nature. Stepping on this path 
We should leave all agendas behind us and we should open to experience another reality as that one we have known till now. How does it feel to have no agenda? How does it feel to do nothing? To have no urge to do something with a horse, but to let them be, to experience them in their true nature when they are not forced to do something human asks from them, when they can express themselves the way they are, without fear to be punished if they do something human doesn't like. If we take time to watch the horses in their natural environment, then we will learn what is their natural food, we will learn about their moving and eating rhythm, we will learn about structure in the herd, and we will feel the magic when we become part of this world. The first thing human should learn in the process working with a horse is never to work against mother nature. Never to work against horse's nature. If we are working against horse's nature, we keep him eventually in small area or even put him into the box. Then we will certainly have a problem to win a friend in this animal because we are working against their nature. If we feed our horses with something else as that's what they eat in the nature, then we are going to make them sick. As with this, we are working again against their nature. In that moment 
when we decide to take ourselves back, to take time for our horse and to let him space to express himself. In that very moment, we will be able to enter the world of horses. We should wait for the invitation and soon we will understand how often we use to insult the host. The time we spend with our horses is precious. Every minute is precious. It will never come again. It is this very minute we should live in this present moment. We should feel and enjoy it with all our senses. But this is possible only if our horse decides to be our friend. And if we want a horse to become our friend, then we must learn their true nature. And we must learn to communicate with the horse. Everything horses do has a reason, good reason. When trees grow, they do it without doing. If we want to bond with a horse, we should learn from this. Communication. Occasionally, it is worth a try to realize the continuity between our body and surrounding matter. The body is in constant touch with the air and surrounding substances. And the body is constantly releasing sweat and other substances to the surrounds. Horses can perceive this much more intensively as we can. It is important to be aware of this kind of communication. We are communicating with a horse through our energy and our emotions. If we feel frustrated, horse is going to mirror this back to us. If we feel stressed, this is what we are going to get mirrored back from our horses. If we don't respect other creatures' free will, how can we expect that our free will is respected? Must we force other creatures to do what they don't want to do? Horse should not be forced to do what we ask. Horse should want to do what we ask. There are no boundaries. Time doesn't exist. It is perpetual present. We are one with surrounds and we can be one with the horse. Trust is possible only 
when there is no pain and no manipulation. Only free will can be trusted. I can trust my horse only if I let him his free will. In my work with the horses, the communication with horse is based on mutual learning and mutual willingness to understand each other. The horse will listen to me and orient it on me only if she trusts me. Horse will never trust me if I am hurting her or if I don't understand her, or if I don't take care of her basic needs. Never. I will eventually have one slave, but I will never have a friend. If I'm hurting my horse, and if I neglect her natural needs, then my horse will leave me as soon as I let him choice to be free to choose this, to make a choice. If I go to the nature and let my horse free, then I will have proof if she wants to stay on my side or if she will just run away from me. Can I express myself the way my horse can understand me? If I'm asking my horse to run circles on the launch line, she will never understand me. For the horse, this is completely senseless. 
But if I'm asking my horse to follow my signals and let her freedom of movement, let her choose herself how and how long, this makes sense for the horse. And I don't force her to do something she doesn't want to do. Horses love freedom, like each of us too. It is in our hands, it is our choice, how we treat our horses how we treat all creatures around us. We should be aware. If we make a choice to make other creatures slave, how can we ever expect to be free? When horse is given freedom of choice, then interaction can win on quality. Then our whole life will win on quality. If your horse is your friend, then you will not ask her to do something. You will ask her if she likes to do something. We should not forget, we are the one who wants something from the horses. They don't want anything from us. They don't need us to be balanced. We need them to be closer to Mother Nature. Many of us have gone to process when we only have took from the horse, satisfying only our pleasures and our needs. Now it is eventually time to correct this. Now it is time to give without expectations. How does it feel to give generously? How does it feel to give with free will and not to want anything in return? Horses are able to act like this. It truly must be noble feeling. Horses are gatekeepers of humans and each of us in his hand. <laughs>